Uh, you mean against the fuel quality directive? Yeah. Well, our our uh, our concerns with the current uh, implementation measures and the language that we've seen would single out the Canadian oil sands, and, and we think that it's uh, really not a, a science or fact-based approach. And really, what we're asking for, um, and it's important that people know that we fully uh, endorse and uh, appreciate the intent of the fuel quality directive. We embrace the, the same vision as, as the European Union. Our challenge is that through the implementation measures, they should be taking, they should be treating all crudes in a, in a similar format and take a very science and fact-based approach. Can you speak a little bit about some of the environmental policies that we have in Alberta? Or is the environment being adequately protected under the current regime? Absolutely. You, you, you look at Alberta, we are probably one of the highest, if not the highest, uh, regulated uh, jurisdictions in the world. And in fact, we believe that people should look to Alberta um, as best practice in environmental stewardship and biodiversity and, and help other jurisdictions with, uh, with fossil fuels develop uh, as good and transparent of regulatory framework as we have in Alberta. The transparency issue is one that's being brought up um, by Canadian industry officials. Um, is there a sense that maybe perhaps by being transparent that somehow uh, we've been penalized for? Absolutely. Uh, without question, the existing language on the implementation measures would really penalize uh, Alberta for being transparent and in fact uh, create a disincentive for other jurisdictions to be more transparent. After all, if you are being considered uh, a certain way today uh, without that transparency, what's the impetus for you to change and, and become more transparent, particularly if they take a look at Alberta and how they're proposing uh, treating the Alberta uh, system and the Alberta energy sector given its transparency and regulation?